Science 3. Characteristics and Phases of Matter. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to tell what matter is. Describe different objects based on their characteristics. Classify objects and materials as solid, liquid, and gas based on their characteristics. Identify and give examples of useful and harmful materials, and appreciate the importance of useful materials. Look around you. Can you see your notebooks, your books, your desk, and your classmates? Can you feel the air around you? What are these? You come in contact with and use matter every day. The water you drink, the glass which holds the water, and the air you breathe in are examples of matter. In this lesson, you're going to learn about the characteristics of matter and its three phases. What is matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. It has color, texture, shape, size, and weight. It is made of tiny particles. It exists in three phases, solid, liquid, and gas. Place a book on a table. What do you notice? The book occupies space on the table. The space that it occupies is called volume. You can determine the volume of the book by multiplying its length, width, and height. You have to use measuring containers like beakers and graduated cylinders to get the volume of liquids like water. Different units are used in measuring the volume of liquids. These include milliliter and liter in the metric system, an ounce and gallon in the English system. To get the volume of a gas, you can use a deflated balloon. Fill the deflated balloon with air. The space occupied by the air inside the balloon is the volume of the gas. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Mass is not the same as weight. Weight is affected by gravity, whereas mass is not. Your weight on Earth is different from your weight on the Moon because Earth and the Moon have different pulls of gravity. However, your mass will be the same wherever you are. On Earth, your mass is the same as your weight. All matter has mass. Mass is measured in kilograms or grams. You can use tools like a weighing scale, bathroom scale, platform balance, or beam balance to help you find the mass of an object. A bigger object has a greater mass than a smaller object if they are made of the same material. An object that has more mass weighs more. Weight is the pull of gravity on an object. If you jump up, you fall back down. Why? Because Earth has gravity, which pulls all objects toward Earth's center. It is what keeps you on the ground and what causes objects to fall. Matter has shape. An object can be square, rectangular, round, triangular, or another shape. Size is another characteristic of matter. It describes how big, small, tall, or short an object is. Matter has color. It can be red, orange, yellow, etc. Texture and hardness are other characteristics of matter. It can be smooth or rough, and hard or soft. Look at the toy truck in the picture. You can see some of the characteristics of matter. Can you describe it? Matter is made of tiny particles called molecules. These molecules are the smallest particles of a material that carries the properties of the material. Molecules are very small and cannot be seen by the naked eye. The way the molecules are arranged determines the phase of matter. Matter exists in three phases, solid, liquid, and gas. Place your eraser inside your pencil case. Does its shape change? Place it inside your bag. Does the shape of your eraser change? Solids have definite shape. The shape of a solid remains the same. It will only change if you apply force to it. The shape of chalk, for example, will remain the same unless you pound it. Solids have definite shapes because their molecules are arranged in a fixed pattern. Their molecules are held strongly together and are tightly packed. Solids have definite volume. Get a ruler and determine the volume of your pencil case by multiplying its length, width, and height. 
Since the particles of a solid are very close together, its volume cannot be changed easily. Solids cannot flow. Solid particles are held together by attractive forces that prevent them from moving around. The particles can vibrate but they stay in place. Look at the liquids in different containers. What is the shape of the liquid in the first container? How about the liquid in the second container? How about the liquid in the third and fourth containers? Liquids do not have definite shape. They take the shape of their container. This is because the particles of liquids are farther apart than those in solids. These particles can move fast but remain touching one another. Liquids have definite volume. The volume of a liquid cannot be changed because its particles are close together and cannot be squashed. Liquids flow because their particles slide over each other. Since liquids flow, they can be poured from one container into another. However, there are some liquids with molecules that are strongly bound to one another. This prevents them from flowing fast. Motor oil, shampoos, and thick syrups are examples of viscous flow that are thick and sticky liquid with high resistance to flow. Water, soy sauce, fruit juices, and other beverages are examples of liquids that flow very fast or non-viscous. Look at the pictures of balloons. Describe their shapes. Gases do not have definite shape. They just take the shape of their container. Look at the balloons inflated with gas. Do they all look the same? Do they have the same shape? What happens when you open a bottle of perfume? Can your classmates smell the scent of your perfume? In gases, the particles do not touch each other. They are far apart. Since there are no attractive forces between them, they can move quickly in all directions to fill up the space they are in. Gases do not have definite volume. They fill the area or the container that holds them. Gases also spread fast. This is how the scent of flowers and cologne can spread out inside the room. Air inside a balloon. Carbon dioxide in a fire extinguisher. Steam from a boiling kettle. Propane or butane gas from a liquefied petroleum gas or LPG tank, and the air you breathe which is oxygen, are all examples of gases. Everything around us is matter. You use plenty of solid, liquid, and gas materials in your daily life. These can be food products, vitamins, or even objects that you use for your personal care. You use your skills and abilities to use them properly and create new things to improve our lives. However, some materials can be harmful if they are not used properly. Because of this, you need to know how to safely handle the materials you find at home and in school. They should be used and handled properly. The improper use of matter can result in several environmental problems. There is actually a fourth phase of matter. It is called plasma. It is similar to gas, but it carries electricity. You can find plasma inside neon signs or fluorescent light bulbs. The sun is also made of plasma. To check how well you understood the lesson, let us have a short exercise. Identify what is being described by each given statement. 1. It has a definite shape and volume. The answer is solid. 2. It is the amount of matter in an object. The answer is mass. 3. It exists in three phases, solid, liquid, and gas. The answer is matter. 4. It is the pull of gravity on an object. The answer is weight. 5. It is the space that matter occupies. The answer is volume. You are awesome. You got them right.